This Ag Business Update brought to you by American Implement, indebted to the past, committed to the future. In a moment, Ag News. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation has been around a long time and a lot of folks have trusted them to design, build and service all sizes of commercial and on-farm storage for grain and equipment. Wolfter is also known for their outstanding irrigation division where they stock a complete selection of nozzles, regulators, drops, gear drives, electrical and structure components. Looking for an electric motor? Wolfter has a large selection in single and three phase. Next time, reach out to the pros who have decades of experience at taking care of business the right way. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future. We're reporting to you from a field in north central Kansas. As you can see, uh, there just isn't much wheat here, and the adjusters are out and about to see what, if anything, can be salvaged, still uh, in desperate need of moisture. We were near Asaria just the other day uh, with uh, First District Congressman Tracy Mann and the chairman of the House Agriculture Committee, Glenn G.T. Thompson. And so he was here last week. We had John Bozeman who is a ranking member of the Senate Agriculture Committee, was here in Kansas as a guest of uh, uh, Senator Dr. Roger Marshall. Both of them talking directly to farmers and other ag leaders on what they want to see in this next farm bill and conservation programs and the like. A couple of other things that uh, we want to uh, talk with you about that has just come out with a new month. Uh, farmer sediment improved modestly in April. That's part of the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer. The current condition index rose three points. Future expectations rose more than seven points. Most producers expect prime interest rates to either hold steady or possibly decline over the next 12 months or so. Uh, perspective on farmland values has moved somewhat. Fewer producers expecting values to decline in the upcoming year. In fact, they may rise. When asked about the possibility of getting that farm bill done this year, well, responses were mixed. 40% say that passage was at least somewhat likely. 30% say somewhat unlikely. 40% just consider crop insurance the most important farm bill title, followed by commodity programs and then those conservation programs. Well, earlier this week, the uh, Senate Ag Committee held a couple of hearings on the Farm Bill, one including about 10 groups, and Senate Ag Chair Debbie Stabenow of Michigan told the groups that costs of fertilizer and diesel fuel have dropped sharply since last year, so that undermines one of their key arguments that are making to increase support rates for those major commodity programs. She said that she pushed back on ideas that the organizations were unified in what they said anyway, with changes that Congress should make for the agriculture risk coverage and price loss coverage, ARC and PLC. Uh, she said there's no consensus on how to address all the programs because different regions have different responses. There's always a challenge in the farm bill and it's less of a partisan exercise and more of a regional exercise, uh, she says, based on what we grow, where you are. And again, remember, Stabenow, being from Michigan, has many, many, many ag products that they grow. She's always pushed for more crop insurance uh, participants for some of those niche or specialty crops. So uh, keep that in mind. Now, uh, House uh, or Senate uh, Ranking Member John Bozeman repeatedly said he will not support a new farm bill that doesn't increase those PLC reference prices. We'll be back with more in a moment. The 
cost of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. SNS Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas, is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all-new, all-aluminum Mauer Grain Trailer with all of the electric options, the easy-to-load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper poles, goosenecks, and oil field specialty trailers, along with flat and utility beds for pickups. SNS Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web, but remember, you do have to spell out the and. KBUF Radio has agriculture information for you every weekday morning beginning at 6 with Agriculture Today. Tony St. James in the uh, KBUF Morning Show comes your way all the way till 11. We talk a whole lot about the markets as well as the newsmaker interviews, uh, ag news, weather, and a whole lot more. All those to help you make good decisions on the farm and ranch. You can see... We need to pray for rain continue uh, here in the great state of Kansas. I'm Ken Rogers. Thanks for watching.